here we are on the back side of Mount Huchison and it is an active volcano over 12,000 feet high the largest mountain in all of Japan it's considered a sacred mountain today we're gonna go inside it on top of it below it everywhere we should go we're gonna explore all of Mount Fuji today son and right now we're at a open-air museum type village of 20 houses that were destroyed in 1966 by uh, typhoon mudslide and in 2006 they were restored and now they're used as different pottery and gift shops and show you the way that they lived back then we're gonna go in here in just a second let's go have a good time today folks This is about as picturesque as you could get. The water starts way up there, comes down through oh, underneath. Yeah. That. Down to these hearts. And it goes into a tiny waterfall at the end. Yeah, that there's a waterfall to the end. Here, watch out, Ladea. You have right up there, Moth Hoochie. Oh, it keeps on going under the road. Yeah, and it goes under the road and comes out down here. And that must be what comes at the very entrance, too. Yeah. That is nice how they trailed that all the way through here. There we go. Beautiful view again. But this was an incredible village at one time. Here we have an overview of the valley here. Ceramic art and indigo dye shop. I would get another view of that thatched roof. Be a beautiful place to live. In those days, of course, but really nice. They make these ceramics here, and they do this dye, this indigo blue dye. It's beautiful. Some light jazz in the background. I don't want to... Now this is neat, an outdoor theater. They put on some kinds of plays here, bench to sit, a nice little balcony window. Oh look who's showing up there. Hello. <laughs> an outdoor theater. Uh, 
That's really neat. Well, we're getting ready to get back on the bus. Then we're going to head down to the cave wind in the suicide forest. Some of you may have remembered some of the movies on the American TV that depict the suicide forest. I was speaking to a gentleman yesterday from here in the Tokyo area that knew of people who went up there to take their lives. It's very much a real thing. He was telling me he thinks that there's spirits up there. And I believe there are. This must be some type of ancient Japanese Treat. I think they call it ice cream cones. Just funnin' with you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry, no speaking English. No, that's all right. Yakosagi. Ah. Yes. Nice. Yesterday, no. Psycho. Oh. Lake, psycho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And what is this? <laughs> Small curry. Oh, cucumbers. Yes. Small. Uh, smoked? Miso. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Do you like it? Miso. Miso mm. Japan miso. You want some? Yeah, I want to get one of those. You want to try it? Mm. Mm. That's so good. I know, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Japan. Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, <laughs> so here's one of the older buildings, or reconstructed buildings, I should say. Um, it has the thatch roof, you can see. The All of them are done here in that old style. And here's the path up to one of the relics here, um, some kind of statue or something here. It's a tiny waterfall here, and walking over to the one building here. Uh, it says Sava Museum, Mud Flow Control. This area used to be called Nemba Ashiwada Village with 41 households. And it was September 25th, 1966, um, where the they were devastated by the typhoon number 26. Apparently they didn't have uh, names then. 
other than the, the number. Um, here in Sabo Museum, this lesson can be learned by the expo exposition of the mud flow disaster to prevent, prevent the same accident. Pictures, if you can see, completely destroyed a lot of the places here. Been torn down or very little left of the houses that were here. You can tell that's the same kind of style of roof and everything that they rebuilt and they re reconstructed it. Um, the same kind of building style. It's sad. All the people looking, looking on afterwards here. Filled with mud. All goes upstairs even here. I'll make it quick. Ayashinosato Village. This is the first part, showing you some of what it's about. A big mudslide took over, and uh, here we have it today. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember November is our YouTube giveaway month.